What the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> so yeah, you've probably looked at the advanced stats before and thought, what the fuck am I looking at? Uh, because the game is now starting to show you a lot of numbers, and you're just here wanting to play Phantom Forces, you're not here to do math. So naturally, you close the advanced stats and spawn into the next round. But the thing is, the advanced stats are actually really important, and can say a lot about how your gun is, so today yeah, I'm gonna show you how to understand this Gotham Abomination. And so today I'll talk about these two subjects. I'll quickly explain the basic stats, and then I'll dive into the advanced stats, and this is because these two stats are kinda tied together. Now let's get started. Like I said, I'll just quickly cover the basic stats, just so you're with me on everything. Up here you have the rank unlock for your weapon, the amount of kills you have on it, and of course your setup. Down here you have the damage, which this is your base damage, and keep that in mind, this is your base damage. Down here you have your fire rate, which is the amount of bullets your weapon will be able to fire in one minute, and here you actually have a graph displaying uh, how much damage your weapon will do at certain ranges. So 0, 100, 200, this is actually stats down here, and this is the amount of damage, meaning that at about 50 stats right here, my AK-47's base damage is 50.40. And once it reaches approximately, what is the like, 140 stats, I'll only do 25 damage. Uh, meaning at 100 stats, I'll do roughly like what? 40, some, somewhere around there, or some, yeah, around there. These graphs down here, don't ever look at them, they're never accurate. Um, and here you have the ammo capacity, which how many bullets you can have your mag, and how many spare bullets you have. And down here you have your fire modes, which can be changed by pressing V. Alright, now for the advanced stats. Uh, I'll be explaining the most important ones, which are weapon ballistics, I will quickly cover sight magnification, and chokes, then I'll cover the weapon handling, and the very last one right here, because these are the most important ones. The first one is time to kill, which is super simple, this just explains, point blank, how quick can your weapon kill at, at its best performance. In this case, my AK-47 has a time to kill of 0 0.10 seconds, which is quite quick. If your time to kill says zero, then it's because your weapon has the ability to one-shot. The next thing is headshot and torso multipliers. Multipliers will have a number besides them, and that number is the amount of extra damage your gun deals if you hit, say, the torso or the head. Now, my AK-47 doesn't have a torso multiplier because I'm using hollow point, which is why I seen here, one shot to the torso deals 50 damage, since that is my base damage after all. But right here, when I do hit a headshot, I do 59 damage. This is because my headshot multiplier says 1.16, which means that my damage is now 50.40 multiplied by 1.16, and that is 59 damage. Now, the damage ranges, I have already covered these. The damage ranges right here are literally just uh, this over here, but put into numbers instead of a graph. Next up is muscle velocity, and this is primarily important for ranged weapons. Muscle velocity determines the bullet drop and bullet speed. The higher the muscle velocity, the, the more accuracy, basically. So a sniper like the Intervention with 3200 muscle velocity has very little drop, while something like an AWS needs to aim a lot higher, since it has a lot lower muscle velocity. And then there's penetration, which is really simple. Your weapon's penetration is measured in studs, so if you have 2.5 penetration, you can shoot through 2.5 studs and still kill your enemies. Um, now, note that enemies do not count as penetration depth, and therefore you can shoot through as many enemies as you want to, despite the fact that you can have zero penetration depth. The last one for the first category is suppression, and this just determines how big of an earthquake your enemy will experience when you shoot near, near them. So the higher the suppression, the bigger the earthquake. Sight magnification determines how much you're zoomed in in comparison to when you're just looking around. So a magnific magnification 2 means you're now zoomed in twice as much. Sight magnification is however mainly important because uh, the more zoom your scope has, the more recoil it feels like you have. Which I've chosen to demonstrate with a global offensive scope. Fuck. I can't believe you've done this. The next thing is choke. Choke describes how much your bullet potentially can fly off. Now, most weapons don't have choke, but some of the worst snipers and most shotguns do. Like you can see with my SFG here, even though some of the shots are right on the enemy, they still miss, and that is because of choke. 
Now, the last ones I do want to talk about, they are so simple, I don't really feel like visualizing them, I don't think I need to. So at the reload time, which is basically how fast you reload if you still have more bullets in your mag, meaning if you're not around this chamber. Whilst the empty reload is if you've emptied your mag and your chamber completely, and therefore it takes more time. The equip speed will be how fast you ready your gun when you select it, whilst the aiming speed is how fast you aim in and aim out. Then you have the weapon walk speed, which is how fast you will walk with the weapon without being aimed in, and then you have aiming walk speed, which is how fast you'll walk whilst being aiming in with that weapon. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. I know damn well I skipped over quite a lot of things, but if you ask me, those things aren't really important. This is uh, These things right here are the main things you need to know, and so I thought I'd just teach them instead. Uh, if you found it helpful, then please subscribe, or at the very least, like the video. It helps out so fucking much. Um, but otherwise, then have a good day.